you in at 640. Let's get a check of our local forecast. And uh, depending on where you're waking up, you might be waking up to some rumbles of thunder this morning. Absolutely. Those of you on the North Shore out there seeing those thunderstorms roll on through already this morning. Take a look at your radar. You can see that we have the heaviest rain and that thunderstorm activity over the North Shore right now. So Washington Parish, Tangipaho Parish, this heavy rain spreading over you. Places like Franklinton about to move into Bogalusa and then still back towards Kentwood. Amy, look at all that lightning down towards Independence, moving towards Hammond as well as Ponchatoula getting some of that heavy rain now. This continues down towards our river parishes and even all the way down towards Lafouche Parish to this rain starting to move on in. It's more shower activity there, not as widespread, not as heavy, not seeing lightning with that. Meanwhile, we do have some more showers now moving onto portions of the North Shore from Lake Pontchartrain, even places like Mandeville getting a few little showers over there. That continues through Slidell all the way over towards Bay St. Louis. Now for those in the Bay St. Louis area, you're not only dealing with the shower activity, you're also dealing with fog. So visibility this morning, not as bad as the past several mornings for most of us in Louisiana, but we do have a dense fog advisory in effect for our Mississippi counties. That's until 9 a.m. Also for the area lakes and coastal Mississippi, there's a marine dense fog advisory until 11 a.m. So overall today, when it comes to the rain out there, I think it will mainly be during these morning hours and maybe lingering into the early afternoon. You can see how rain chances decrease as we head later into the afternoon, and I think the evening will be drier, though still mostly cloudy. High temperatures today will top out mainly in the middle 70s, so it's still warm out there today as well. Overnight tonight, mostly cloudy with some areas of fog, and it will be cool mainly in the middle 50s to the middle 60s, and then tomorrow it's still warm. I know today all this rain is associated with the cold front. That cold front really not going to cool us down. We're back in the 70s, mostly cloudy tomorrow with a 20% chance of showers. So a lot less rain tomorrow, but you can still see some of those pop up showers. Then on Tuesday, we turn our attention to our next system, our next cold front that will be moving on through. We can see a few showers and storms out there Tuesday. I think the bulk of the rain arrives on Wednesday and that could bring some severe weather with it. That's why Wednesday is a WDSU impact day. So here's a look from the Storm Prediction Center. On Tuesday, we could see a severe weather outbreak over North Louisiana, Monroe towards Alexandria, Shreveport as well. But for our area, this would move in really Wednesday morning. We have the risk of damaging wind, flooding, hail and tornadoes on Wednesday, Wednesday morning, perhaps lingering into the afternoon. You can see this system on Tuesday throughout the late afternoon, moving across North Louisiana, perhaps bringing some severe weather with that and then pushing towards our area arriving on Wednesday. So again, Wednesday is a WDSU impact day for the risk of severe weather. We'll keep a close eye on that. Meanwhile, today's rain, I think it really favors the morning and early afternoon hours. All right, Lee, thank you. As inflation soars, you will likely notice higher price tags as you check items off.